this is a CT scan of a little toy sheep. You can't just put nurses in it because it would expose them to ionizing radiation as CTs use x-rays. So um, they have to do the demonstration on a little dog. This is from within the control room, behind lead glass of course, to protect the nurses doing the scans. This was just a short scouting scan. The bleeping indicated that ionizing radiation was being emitted by the device and nobody should enter the room. They do two scouting scans, one from the sides and one from the front end, sort of. So you can plan the exact area that is to be examined. Now you can set the area that is going to be examined with um, the proper slices, as you probably know them. Und den bewegen wir, dass wir einstellen können, welche Region wir jetzt untersuchen wollen. The examiner is entering the room to enable the little plush doll to um, move the belly and make snoring noises and whatever. To display that you can actually measure moving devices like real people. And the real scan will now take 11 seconds. And this is the result. You can see the little sheep's electronic guts. And now for a real scan of a patient. He has had a severe accident with his bike and multiple skull fractures. And um, as you can see, the mandibular joint, the lower jaw bone joint is not really working anymore either. And this is a person's foot, as you can see. This is a 3D volume rendering of a CT scan. And this is a really massive tumor in the lower arm. You can see there's no bone left even. You can also use contrast agents such as iodine in CT scans. That's what this infusion machine here is for. Of course, some patients are severely injured and require intensive care monitoring as well, which you can see on the right side of the CT there. So, I hope you enjoyed this little insight on CT scans.